Hey everybody, welcome back to another Adobe Muse tutorial brought to you by GraphicDesignerTips.com. My name is Steve Looney and in today I'm going to be showing you exactly how to publish that beautiful website that you design in Adobe Muse. And what's so great about it is it's going to be through the FTP client that is directly integrated within the actual program. So I just did a video on how to export your site as HTML to a folder, but this is how you do it right through the program. Uh, so when you're making updates on a site, it's so quick and easy. Uh, what you're going to do is we are going to go to File, Upload FTP Host. And for right now, I am going to change the domain name to where it is going to be going, uh, which is going to be uh, a test folder. Um, so that's going to be the domain name. My, uh, You're going to get your FTP credentials from your hosting company. Uh, hosting directory is the one that I created. Now, if you did not create a folder in your hosting for this yet, you can type whatever you want in there, and then when you hit OK, it'll create the folder automatically, which is great. It'll say it'll say something like, uh, "I notice we notice this folder is not in there. Would you like us to create it?" So that's basically what's going to happen there. Uh, then your login and password. Now, for the original upload, you want to make sure you're having uh, all files be put in there because you haven't uploaded anything yet. And then in the future, you're going to do updated uh, excuse me what's it only modified files uh, always store your credentials I think uh, you know as long as you're the only one working on your uh, station so you uh, for quicker upload times uh, meaning that you don't have to put your uh, password back in so uh, we're gonna hit OK and this is gonna take a few minutes so I'm gonna jump ahead okay so the reason it was gonna take a couple minutes actually it took almost 10 minutes uh, is because my website I have so many images on there uh, this is just my logo design page so every page has so much stuff going on uh, and it takes a little while that first upload. So what's going to happen here is basically I'm going to show you something uh, very simple. Uh, I'm going to take this video that I did. I'm going to I'm going to move the title up here, and I'm going to take the video that I did, and I'm just going to move it. If I could ever grab it up. Actually, you know what? Everything just moved up, and I don't care. Even if you nudged it up once, it's going to know it got modified by a pixel, and you're going to have to update that. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to come up to file, upload to FTP host, change to only modified files, and then you're going to hit OK. And let's see what happens here. All right, so this is a pretty quick upload even for that one thing there was a lot of elements on the page uh, if you were to change a word it would probably take a lot quicker but you know it's all experimentation if I come into my master copy right here uh, which is a dash master copy um, the way that you know that is if you go into low if you look at my logo design page it says the master that is associated with that is the one I called copy now I'm gonna come into my copy and I'm going to change this I'm going to change this to magenta or something. Let's see. I'll take the I'll take the actual image out. Where is it? Trash the image and throw that in there. If I come up to file upload to FTP host, I mean I could tell you this, but you know it's always nicer to show everybody because um, you learn through experience. So. Um, yeah, okay, so you see what's happening? It's exporting all 12 pages again. The reason is because that that master copy page is associated with a bunch of these pages. So let's hit cancel. Let's hit cancel for a second. And then we'll come into here. All right, so anything that says A, so the, this is A master, then these say copy, copy, copy. Let's see, they all say copy. Okay, so that means it's gonna re-upload all those pages with that new element on it so it's going to take a lot longer to do that so just trying to go over all the uh other uh, all the options helping you understand this because uh, you know it takes some time and it's uh it, it could be an intimidating program at first when it really isn't so if you like this video subscribe to my channel hit the subscribe click the subscribe button and a comment in the video below show some love let me know you learned something in the video uh and share it out in the social networks please and uh, I will see you for the next video of the Adobe Muse tutorial. Let me know in the comments below if there's anything you have questions about, want me to touch on. I'll talk to you guys and girls soon. Peace.